Hey, why don't you use the dustbin to throw this? It's okay. Take a chill. No, it's not okay. What happened, students? What is this fuss all about? Ma'am, he was throwing this peel here and there. That's not a good practice. That's very bad. You shouldn't behave like this. Sorry, ma'am. Have you seen the waste of your house getting collected and thrown outside of your house? Yes ma'am, spoiled food, vegetable peels, empty cartons, milk packets. Waste papers, old and torn clothes, broken crockery, we usually throw them outside. This is not a very good practice. We shouldn't spoil our environment because many of these waste products stay as such for a long period of time. Okay ma'am, then what should we do? Okay. I'll show you an illustration by which you will be able to see what is the fate of these waste products and how we should dispose the waste. Here you can see two pots, pot A and pot B. In the first pot we are putting vegetable peels and leaves. In the second pot we are putting broken crockeries and toys. Then we'll cover them with soil and keep them moist. After some time, as the time passes, the vegetable peels and the leaves have started degrading and in the second pot, the broken toys and the crockeries remain as such. Ma'am, why didn't all the waste disappear from pot B? See, this degradation is due to the enzymatic activity of microbes. In the pot A, the microbes have eaten up the vegetable peels and leaves. This type of waste is known as biodegradable waste. In the pot B, the microbes couldn't act upon the broken toys and crockeries. This type of waste is known as non-biodegradable waste that remains in the environment for a very long time and creates environmental threats. Actually, this degradation has not been possible in case of pot B because of the absence of physical processes like high temperature and pressure. Okay ma'am, now it is clear to us that we should not contaminate our environment with biodegradable as well as non-biodegradable waste. And ma'am, we have also understood that we should collect biodegradable and non-biodegradable wastes separately. Yes, very good. Therefore only, we might have seen different dustbins for biodegradable waste and non-biodegradable waste at public places. And by adopting these practices, we can keep our environment clean. So that's all for today. In the next session, we'll be discussing about ecosystem and food chains. Goodbye students. Thank, Thank you, you ma'am. Ma